Welcome to Mademoiselle Decker's journey through La Francophonie, part two. Next, we're coming back to our side of the Atlantic to an overseas French collectivity called Saint Pierre et Miquelon. Saint Pierre et Miquelon is just 15 miles off the coast of Newfoundland in Canada. The inhabitants of this overseas collectivity primarily earn their living through the fishing industry. Because it is so small, many residents take a ferry over to Canada to purchase some of their major staples. To do that, one must pass through the France-Canada border crossing in Fortune, Newfoundland, the only place in the world where France and Canada technically share a border. Our next stop is the province of Quebec in Canada. Montreal is the largest city in Quebec and is only a three-hour drive from Saratoga. The old Montreal neighborhood, which has a European feel, is where you'll find historic buildings such as the Notre Dame Basilica. A bit north of Montreal is Quebec City, where you'll have the opportunity to travel as an 8th grader. Quebec City is known for its winter recreational activities such as dog sled racing and its world famous ice hotel. Now let's head back into the United States where we're we'll head about three hours in the other direction down to New York City where we'll find the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty was actually a gift from the people of France to the people of the United States in 1886 and its metal framework was designed by Gustave Eiffel who also designed the Eiffel Tower. There is also a much smaller version of the Statue of Liberty in Paris on the banks of the River Seine. Our final stop today is the city of New Orleans in the southern state of Louisiana. New Orleans was founded by Jean-Baptiste Lemoyne de Bienville, who was born in Montreal but had French heritage. As Louisiana was once ruled by the French, there is no shortage of references to French language and culture in New Orleans, starting with its name. New Orleans was named after the city of Orléans in France, and Louisiana was named for King Louis XIV of France. Other references include the statue of Joan of Arc, a heroine of France who was from Orléans, the presence of Fleur de Lis, the symbol of French royalty, the presence of beignet, a popular fried dough pastry treat that you may remember from Mardi Gras, which originated in France, St. Louis Cathedral, once again named for King Louis XIV, and French language signage on street signs and in restaurants. I hope you've enjoyed following my journey, and I hope this video inspires you to start your own, whether in the United States or abroad. Au revoir!